You might not believe it, but some historians estimate that up to a quarter of cowboys in the Wild West were African American. So what happened? How are all these people erased from history? Why are there no black cowboys in Hollywood westerns? And when we endeavour to do something about it and redress the balance, why is that deemed to be an example of wokeness? The truth is that African Americans were indeed airbrushed out of the history of the Wild West in the early years of Hollywood. And that's a time when the portrayal of black people in Hollywood was shockingly racist. The first proper movie feature ever made was The Birth of a Nation in 1915. And that film glorified the Ku Klux Klan and depicted black people in the most degrading terms imaginable. When I've looked back at 19th century newspapers, it's not been difficult to find examples of African-American cowboys. They really were a feature of the Wild West. But before I prove my point by introducing you to some real African-American cowboys, please subscribe to the channel. Nat Love was born in 1854 and died in 1921 and like many African-American cowboys was born into slavery, in his case in the state of Tennessee. After emancipation his parents continued to work on the same plantation as sharecroppers but that was no life for Nat so he headed west. He ended up in Dodge City, that quintessential Wild West town and got into so many scrapes and skirmishes as a cowpuncher that his body bore the marks of 14 bullet wounds. Then there was Isam Dart who was also born a slave and as a boy was taken into the American Civil War by his master uh, as an ancillary in the Confederate Army. Like Nat Love, he also headed west hoping to make his fortune, but he mixed legal and illegal activities. In particular, he was very fond of cattle rustling. He took up with a Native American woman called Tickup, but then they had to part company rather hastily when her angry husband showed up. But this is evidence of many liaisons between Native Americans and African Americans out on the plains. He was known variously as the Black Fox or the Calico Cowboy, but eventually was shot dead by a Pinkerton detective who had been hired by ranchers to take out rustlers. Bill Pickett was quite a character. He invented something called bulldogging. Now what this involved was taking a steer by, by its horns with both your hands and then twisting the head round so that it was now looking upwards as a way of subduing the animal. He would then sink his teeth into the steer's upper lip and then raise his hands to show that that was the only grip he had on the animal. Must have been quite a show. However his luck with the animal kingdom ran out when a horse kicked him to death age 71. So how and why then did the cowboy world get so comprehensively whitewashed? You have to consider that the original cowboys in the Americas were Spanish in the 16th century and that even in the 19th century, in the late 19th century, a third of cowboys were Mexicans and it was the Hispanic cowboys who invented the whole look. As for African Americans, Many of them headed west at the end of the American Civil War, as did many poor white people, looking to make a fortune as miners, as cowhands, and even as law enforcement officers. And there were many African Americans also in the US cavalry. But Hollywood emerging in the early 20th century with a rise in racist activity and the re-emergence of the Ku Klux Klan somehow couldn't bring itself to acknowledge the African-American presence in the Wild West. And this even included Westerns that were based on the lives of real African-American cowboys. So take the movie Tomahawk, for example, in 1951. There's a character in that film called Sol Beckworth. That character 
is directly based on a real-life African-American cowboy called James Beckworth, and yet the actor was white, no acknowledgement that that had ever been a black character. The legendary American Western The Searchers was based on the real-life story of an African-American called uh, Britt Johnson. Now, he had been on a plantation a year before the end of the American Civil War, and an Indian raiding party had come and killed his son and had abducted his wife and two of his children. His quest, even at the time, was reported on. But when it came to the movie, John Wayne played Brit, and there was no mention of him being African American. Both African Americans and Mexicans have had a pretty raw deal from the Hollywood Western, let alone Native Americans. But that diversity, the true diversity of the Wild West, is steadily being recovered and shown on our screens, something to be welcomed. But if you have any views on this topic, do share them. I don't mind arguing and disputing with people, so long as you're polite. Uh, I do get rather bored by trolls who just set out to be offensive. You will just be blocked. It's very boring. But anybody who wants to have a genuine debate, come on board and air your opinions. And remember to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.